hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial video and in this tutorial i'm going to be talking about the basic setup for trust wallet if you do not know what trust wallet is it is a decentralized wallet for storing of all crypto assets it supports a diverse range of multi-chain assets so you can store as many uh, crypto asset as you want on a single trust wallet account now if you do not have a trust wallet and you use a mobile device be it an apple device or an android you just head over to your app stores and then you type in trust wallet make sure it is the correct trust wallet with adequate ratings then you download it having downloaded it here then you open up the trust wallet now you will be prompted on the first page here which uh, if you're a first timer you'll be asked to create a new wallet and if you're an old timer you would be asked to import your old wallet by clicking i already have a wallet now for newbies and first timers we are going to click on create a new wallet now you will just be giving some advices and disclaimers telling you that if you lose your secret phrase your funds will be lost forever and if you expose or share your secret phrase to anybody your funds can get stolen and it is your full responsibility to keep your secret phrase secure now if you are okay with all of this you just check all the boxes and you hit continue now you will be presented with a 12 digit phrase now for tutorial purposes i'm not going to be using this wallet so this phrase is useless because it is just for tutorials but this is what you'll be faced with a 12 digit secret phrase now you have to copy this down now after you must have um, copied this down or written it down somewhere you just hit continue and in the next place you'll be taken to where you have to impute uh, this secret phrase in their order from 1 to 12. So after imputing all your secret phrase in their order of arrangement it will look just like this and when you have confirmed it you just hit continue. Now when you hit continue you see it that your wallet was successfully created now you click on ok now having set up your new wallet it is now ready to receive and send out any cryptocurrency of your choice now if your favorite cryptocurrency is not listed here on your home screen and you wish to add it uh, manually um, you just click on this add tokens and then you search for example wikicat so now if you search for wikicat and you do not find it like this it is always advised to head over to coin market cap to add the token manually now to do so you click on this plus sign at the top left and then you change your network to the network of the token in wikicat's case it is the binance smart chain and then you head over to coin market cap when you are in coin market cap you click on search and then you search for wikicat when you search for wikicat you select it and then you scroll all the way to where you have um, the contracts now when you click on this contract you can see all wikicat contract and you can see it is unique to the smart chain and you can add it to your trust wallet or your metamax so you copy it once you once it's copied you head over to trust wallet and then you paste the address there automatically it fills up the other colons for you and then you click save when you are done you can see your wiki card token will be added to your home screen just like the rest of them so if you want to receive tokens into your trust wallet you click on your wiki card and then you select receive now you can choose to scan this barcode or you can choose to click on copy and then send the copied address to whoever wants to send you the tokens or if you wish to send out wikicat you click on send you impute the address which you want to 
send to or you click on this icon here to scan the barcode or you just paste the address here and click on any amount of wiki card you want to send out let's say five 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 then you click on next and then it will load up for you it will indicate the address you are sending to indicate also the network fee involved and then the max total of what you are sending and if you are okay with that you just hit send in this case we do not have wikicat in this wallet so it is telling us insufficient wikicat but if you do all you see here is to confirm and then when you do that your wikicat will be sent to your preferred wallet all right so guys this is just a basic tutorial setup of a new trust wallet account and how to add your favorite tokens to your trust wallet so in the next video i'll be explaining the swap feature and uh, the browser feature and also run you through the settings and the discover feature so until then guys thank you for watching this video and i'm sure now you know how to set up a basic trust wallet account so take care guys and see you next video